Hi gamers, we are see our curse back. I go or know why I said it like that. But of course, we are back with another talking about video. We got some brand new stuff for Brock. Find guys easy on JP. I know I've been behind a lot of videos. My internet and my drivers were messed up pretty badly the last few days, but I am gonna upload this when I can though. Of course you guys know how I am. But I'm gonna get the videos recorded, get them done. As long as I get them done and recorded, I'm fine. That's all that matters. But um because we got some new EZA up updates on JP. We got this new brand new EZA. In general, though, we got the full info, the full details and everything, of course, for Bardock. We got this full info. Thank you to Minato for all the info, of course. Always awesome, dude. Always awesome, awesome, awesome. And of course, thank you to Doken Official, of course, for the images that we have. Thank you, thank you, thank you to them as well. I'd always thank everybody because you know, but then we wouldn't even really have all this stuff though. So yeah, it's always good to talk about. Always good to talk, good to go over and everything. Of course, I'm excited to talk about this guy's EZA. For a long time, he actually was a really good unit. Like when he first came out, he was crazy. Him, Kepler, and Beerus. Like now they're finally getting their EZAs, and like that's good. Like that's really good. It's crazy though, because Bardock got his not Bardock. Beerus got his last year. Then we got Kepler and Global, and now now we got Bardock. So we pretty much are getting kind of getting to what the 2020, 2021 EZA, 2020 EZA units, which is. Or Dokuface units, which is good, because, I mean, all 2017, 2016 are pretty much done now. I'll say not Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but he got his, he, he did get his. I'm, I'm overthinking stuff, though. But yeah, he did get his, though, so, um, I'm just overthinking stuff now at this point, though. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started, though, of course. I'm ready to talk about him, ready to go him and everything, of course, though, like I said, um, I don't know, um, I'm just ready, I'm ready, though. I'm ready. Ready to talk about it, ready to go over it and stuff like that, of course. I'm making sure my video's doing good, because it's also, I saw a little bit of loading errors. Look, I saw some loading, but, I mean... I got everything I'm ready to go. Like I said, thank you to, to Minato for all the info, of course. And of course, thank you, like I said, to Joker Official again for their um, contribution as well. So, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about Bardock. Like I said, when he first came out, he was actually a pretty good unit, though. You can do some really good stuff against Wicked Bloodline, like some crit, some extra attack, and everything, of course, just for him supporting himself, though. Of course, his Super Saiyan counterpart was pretty good. His base form was decent, but I'm going to still talk about it and go over it, though. Because, you know, Keflos was amazing. Herbark was kind of mid, kind of bad, kind of terrible, but let's just go. His base form, but the way he goes to Super Saiyan, he's better. That's what I just heard what I've seen so far like terrible he's made he's okay again like I guess in the Goku Black for global first tier I guess that's what I'm getting it as because we know Kefla shit they, Kefla and Beerus are disgusting like we know how they are like Kefla and Beerus are just broken the way they are I'm gonna probably do this yeah because Kefla and Beerus are just this pinnacle of disgusting so yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually back this up a little bit though just get some room breathing room a little bit but yeah um it's, it's crazy for them though i when i went over their easy info i was like okay careful disgusting beerus is really disgusting so yeah let's go over let's go over Bardock, another um tier i think after this i think it should be i can't remember who was after bardock or beerus or kefla can't remember oh yeah i can't remember now at this point that was so long ago i gotta go back and look at what dogger fest came out at that time um because there's skills, Avenger, low cost warrior key for all sets of 170. His 12 key, greatly raises defense up for one, greatly raises defense infinitely. Um, and immense damage. His passive does, his base form passive. This is, again, this is his base form before he transforms to Super Saiyan. Which isn't that hard though to do. Like, if you're fucking Wicked Blood on unit, you can just auto transform turn one. Or if, um, after I think three turns, three or five turns, you transform two, it's, I say all that. He could tank though. Like, back in the day, he did tank. Back in the day, he did just, when he first came out in general, like he tanked. He did pretty good in Super Saiyan form. He tanked. He did pretty good though. Day form was more you building. You're building up, which wouldn't make sense, of course. And of course, no base form build up. Then Super Saiyan, you lash all out. He gets more. Def he's mainly a tank, crit, and um, he can actually do some pretty good stuff though. So yeah, right. just just, like, just talking about like how part of was back in the day. His passive does key two attack defense of one fifty. His new passive basically now I say his new passive because this is brand new. Like the categories don't change, so I'm not gonna go over that. I always say that a lot for new reviewers and anybody in general. So it does a little runny right now, a little stuffy. Um but yeah. Key two attack defense up um one fifty. <clears throat> no you were that again. <coughs> I wanna call my throat a little bit. Okay, I'm ready. Key two attack defense of one fifty, attack was up attack of uh, fifty percent uh, key two attack defense at one fifty, attack up fifty percent uh when attacking Plus an additional attack defense up 20%, attack plus 20% up to max of 100, and reduce the damage received by 10% up to max of 50 per low cast warrior category ally on the team, which is, I did remember that, I'm like, ah, attack plus 50% effective against all types when there's a book of category enemy, which is like, yay, but also, hmm. Perform the additional attack that has a high chance of going to super attack when, low, when there's no low, low cast warrior category ally attacking in the same turn. I can agree that it's kind of bad. Not bad, but that's not really good either. Like I say, he does build up, which is good though, but like I say, he had to have a full low cost warrior team, which did hurt him back in the day, and his revenge leader score wasn't helping out either though, because he doesn't really have anybody to link up in revenge. Yeah, like I say, it's mainly just villains in revenge, and, um, 
even then, like, for a hero team, like, revenge isn't, like, that good. Even now, it's still kind of bad. I don't want to say bad, but it's just not good in, in the hero part. That's why a lot of easy days with revenge are pretty easy. But then, of course, like I said, Olok has Warriors, pretty simple, Shugash, Bardock, but it's mainly going to be the free to play ones, maybe the grade 8 one, but yeah, Bardock team is a hard one to kind of get for your G8, though. He has some good units on the team, but it's like, they're not going to link up with them, though. So, you got to have low cost Warrior, which is always, uh, like I said, just Fasha, but like Turles, I believe, is like Goku's, like, you're not going to run that on Bardock team. Like, you're not. And you got to be finding a Wicked Blood unit to get, Wicked Blood on you to get more efficiency, so that's just, uh. Base form, like I said, is sucking so far, though, honestly. Let's see what Super Saiyan can do. Uh, Tovki, great when he goes to Super Saiyan, he still forms. Uh, Tovki, good raise attack defensive for one tournament's damage. Great lower defense, not too bad. Key 3, attack defense of 180. Effective against all types. Reduces damage received by 18%. Launch an additional attack, which has a high chance. And has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Attack was 100% when attacking. Beyond chance of performing a crit and evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. Key 3, chance of performing a crit. Um, and evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, up to 18%, and reduces and reduce damage. It reduces damage received by 18% for five turns from start of turn. Launch an additional super attack. Uh, effective in attack, all attacks become crits when finding a weak on an enemy category. Enemy. Okay, yeah, they did. They did cook with this though. They they should have did. I feel like they did a little bit of this and added it on here, but they probably would have been the same character in the at that moment anyway though but honestly not too bad for the super Saiyan part is that he, that he feels disgusting when he goes for again when i think that's problem with i think that's the opposite problem with um the ago trunks like he's good in his base form but when he goes super saiyan he kind of sucks so this is more the opposite borrow sucks in his base form while in super saiyan form he does a lot more better which it, it makes sense so like i said he did crit before he gave himself support before but now he's doing that a little bit more effective against all time. Like I said, I, I knew Bardock was going to be good. At, I, I mean, when he Super Saiyan, I was like, yeah, they're going to do a little bit for him because they don't need to do too much. He already had built-in crit originally. He had key um, support where he finally got a good bullet. You know, he's going to get more stronger. He's going to be tanking. Again, like I said, they just update that a little bit, though, which is good. I love the Super Saiyan form. Really balanced design. He, gives him, he dodges a lot. He gives himself keys. He's going to be tanking. If he finally begins with a Gabon enemy, which is Frieza's Coolers, King Cole's, like I said, half of the game. But not really, though. It's eh, kind of a myth. Like, I mean, kind of eh, iffy. I say myth. Kind of if Yeah, myth and iffy. Eh. But, I mean, like I said, Super Saiyan form is better, though. But not always going to be a fun with a Gabon unit. So, this is going to be kind of pointless. But he's going to be dodging. I think I'll play with getting full with Jishinor, though, because, you know, because he get when Super Attack, he's going to get getting stronger with it, uh, which isn't a bad idea. Of course, ERA has built-in crit, though, so I might go over a balance of both, though, just to help him balance out, though. He doesn't need dodge. He does He does not need dodge, but I'm still giving him, I have mine at three dodge, so I got to build mine per, very carefully on global, because I am going global right now, so he'll come out eventually for JP. He'll come out global, like, two months, probably, like, in what? It'll probably be, what, May? No, June, June... Probably June, honestly. Bardock, Bardock, it's Bardock probably be in June for global, so. Um, he felt like he just like a summer campaign unit, though. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, not too, too bad for Bardock. The base form, like I said, sucks. But Super Saiyan's pretty good, though. Honestly, though, don't really need, need to really talk about anything anymore. Base form, like I said, does suck, though, unfortunately, though. But again, base form's always usually do with these type of units, though. But they're not always bad. Like, Kevlar base form is amazing. The second, we just go Super Saiyan. Just to compare the STR one, she's a little bit better. She has a little bit more than, of course, when she goes Super Saiyan 2, she goes all out like that. Then go for Bardock here, he goes all out when he's Super Saiyan, but when he gets here, he's kind of just mainly support, building up. But I think when she goes Super Saiyan, that, I mean, I guess all that building up does make a purpose for this, though. So, like I said, building up isn't too that bad, though, but you need, like, low-cost warrior category units, and then you need, like, a Wicked Blood unit to help him out. If we get transformation early, or, you know, we'll do some additional stuff. But like I say, you're, I mean, like I said, you are pet a little bit of built-in additional with his, uh, with his, um, no, not this, though, I meant to say, yeah, he has, yeah, right. I mean, like I said, it's hard for Bardock, though, because the little cause warrior, you need that to help him out, which isn't too bad, you probably get, like, two or three super protective to help him build up, though, but when he goes Super Saiyan, he's gonna be better, I don't know how to say about Bardock, I'm kind of, even though, like, he's good with Super Saiyan, but he's also bad in his base form, like, because, like, longer events, he's gonna get killed, but when he goes here, he's gonna be better, oh, we could bloodline right down, 
There you go. He's gonna be good there. See you guys other Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Great. I'll fuck with you. Get down with your day. Thanks for watching. God bless all of you. Go out, put on a mask. Don't talk paper for real. You need to give us skin. Go outside to the guys. Some copium. Show all my friends in the Discord soldier. Everything aware. Guys are awesome. Wake up. Think about all this info. Of course, like you hate it again. Very simple. Very easy. Like a little Bardock. Love the Super Saiyan form. Base form. Like I said, it. it they kind of tend to do this with Doken a lot, though. Base form is kind of M, but when they go Super Saiyan or have an additional transformation or add something a little bit better, it does get better, though. But, I mean, it's typical Doken. We know this at this point. See you guys there, though, again, though. Peace out.